what Borderlands is really important to us. And I think what is very important is that if we do come with another Borderlands game, that the next Borderlands game we come with, um, and I don't want to say anything bad about the pre-sequel, I love the pre-sequel, but what I think people want from us is a really big, yeah. worthy, you know, and so if, if we're going to do one, it's going to be that, and that's not something you can just cook up overnight, you know, like look, what, how long was it between GTA 3 and GTA 4? You know, well, all, all the GTA, yeah, we're, they're up yeah. to five plus But there was years. a period there, you know, GTA 3 happened, and then Vice, Vice City, City was and a year later. Yeah. And boom, boom, boom. That's true. And they're like, oh, created one sense of cadence. But, you know, they're derived from the same engine, same generation. Right. And then we had to wait a while because they knew that's what people wanted and expected, and they had to build it, you know. And I, I think I think Rockstar can teach a lot of, a lot of folks some things about that. And... Um, it, the easiest thing in the world would would be for us to churn out a lot of pre sequels, yeah. and we can make a lot of money. But I don't think that's. I think I think we've got to. Fi- I think we I think we need to figure this out and do this right. So we're gonna Good. we're gonna work on it. And when we think we've had it, we're not gonna announce anything until we think we have something worthy of announcing, and then we'll set expectations on that. And the worst thing that I can do for us and for you and for the world and for the game right now is to try to let any expectations be set. The only expectation that should be set right now is, man, it'd be nice if there was another game, and I hope Gearbox is working on it. And yeah, we are trying. We're figuring it out, and we'll see.